into Lowe's. The very first thing that I wanted to do was pick a paint for my cabinets in my laundry room. I knew I wanted to go with a gray and I knew that I needed to let the people know that were mixing the paint that it was for cabinets and it took me a good 10 minutes to find my color and for them to mix it. Next, I wanted to go over to the wallpaper. This is a peel and stick wallpaper, which I love. I actually use it in my son's dorm room and it was so easy to apply and it was pretty easy to take off as well. Um, I knew that I wanted an accent wall in my laundry room and this would probably be the best way to go about it. I have textured walls in my in the laundry room, so being able to see that they had something for textured surfaces really made me feel comfortable with this particular wallpaper. So let's give it a go. Lastly, I needed to choose flooring. Now I did do a little research before coming in on the peel and stick tile. And what I liked about it was that I could place it over the existing tiles that I have on the floors in my laundry room. I just needed to find a cute color and voila, I found this cute little gray and it honestly I thought it matched perfectly with my wallpaper and it was super affordable for the full laundry room it was less than $30 for the pill and stick the laundry room is my first actual DIY by myself I decided that this room should be the first room that I actually tackle because this is the room that the least amount of people go in and if it doesn't turn out right then oh well nobody's gonna see it anyway Put the work in. Hey, put the work in. Put the work in. Dude, I love yeah. this one. So, baby girl, hey, girl, she gotta do it with a purpose. And Madonna by the Mirror Man, I heard that she a virgin. Sheesh. And I've been in the gym all week. You know Heavy it. bars, that's how I'ma drop the gyms y'all need. I've been working on his body for the beach all winter. Yo, getting Pilates, watch me keep my figure. Snap back like Beyonce, kill the beats like Jigga. Share the vision, but not everybody see my picture. Wow. Like the circle got smaller, but the dream got bigger. All those things that you said you didn't mean, I get it. Uh. Oh, you really wanna come back to the team? I'm listening, you but life's different, and I'm richer. Made for this since birth. Yes, I know my worth. Go hard, put in the work. Cause I come first, and I ain't even need your help. This is a one half nap nine inch roller cover. I do not know the difference in rollers. I've just been painting my house. Um, and I know the rollers that I got before were really kind of thin. So I wanted to get something thick. I don't know. So, oh, and I also have this to do my trim, my trim work. Take this and put it on here. Ouch. And voila.
come over here to the other side and get this done. Applying this peeling stick was not the easiest job ever. Well, it wasn't hard, but it wasn't easy. And I think the toughest part was because my walls were almost 11 feet tall and I had to go onto a ladder and peel back the paper so that the, the adhesive could stick to the wall and keep my balance. And it was just a whole you know a whole issue but I got the job done and would I do it again absolutely would I get help more help absolutely from the beginning okay I had to try to put it up there first um, I think I want to put it up just a little bit more because you can kind of see a little brown but I want to prop my camera so you all can see it as well so let's go so here what I did was peel it and here is the piece that I'm peeling and it just sticks on what I want to do so I got it up here and One thing about this pattern that I'm using is that you do not have to try to connect each panel of the wallpaper in order for you not to be able to see where the next panel starts. Um, I think that that was definitely, I wasn't even thinking about it when I, when I purchased it, but I don't have to try to line it up. I did overlap the paneling. Um, as I applied it onto the wall so that we didn't, you know, maybe see any gaps later on or if anything peeled up a little, you wouldn't be able to see the seam of the next uh, panel. To make sure the bottom was cut perfectly, I used a straight edge razor and I just went across the bottom as straight as I possibly could. And here you see the final result from the pill and stick wallpaper. There was one small piece that was missing and I kind of ran out of wallpaper, but because I'm going to have my washer and dryer there, I felt like it wasn't going to be a big deal and it wasn't enough for me to justify going back to buy a whole other set of wallpaper just for that small piece. This particular wallpaper pattern was perfect for my wall. I mean, you really cannot tell where the next panel starts. 
and I mean, honestly, I'm standing like right in front of it and I can't even tell. And because my walls are textured, you couldn't, I, you know, I was a little nervous about seeing lumps and bumps, but you cannot tell not one bit. The camera does not do this justice at all. It is absolutely gorgeous. Now it's time to get started on my cabinets and I want to prep and prime um, first before I get started with the color. I'm going to be using this Kiehl's primer and first I'm going to sand it a little bit just to be sure that all of the surfaces are pretty smooth and then I'll go in with my primer and just use this small roller here uh, just to put a coat of primer before I add my actual paint to the walls. Ideally, it is not a good idea to paint inside of your home. But guys, it was at least 98 degrees outside and I just could not go into my garage. I went and then I came back in. But I did try my best to prop all of the cabinets up onto different um, risers and so that none of the paint would get onto the floor and also once it dries, I could just pick it up. I did not paint the inside of my cabinets. Here. I'm just going around it to remove all of the caulking. Once that caulking is loosened, it is so much easier to be able to just pop it from under the bottom, pop the sink up from under the bottom in order to remove the entire sink. This was not an easy task. In addition, we had to be sure that the water was cut off under the sink so that we would not have any spills or any water splashing everywhere once we remove the sink. So now it's time to paint the cabinets. What I'm using first is this foam brush and it was about a dollar at Lowe's. It is so much more helpful to get into those crevices on the cabinets it's much easier than using the roller because it's very very hard to go and, and paint inside of those crevices so that was very very helpful After painting the cabinet doors, I went ahead and painted the trim on the cabinets and allowed everything to sit overnight. Now I brought in the cabinets and they are all dry and it is time to install them back onto the wall. Now when doing this, it is not hard to install the doors back onto the cabinets, but the one thing I can say is be sure that well, it's when you're doing it with one person, be sure that you line those screws up as much as you can and use a screwdriver first instead of a, the, the drill or the electric screwdriver so that you won't strip the screw. I did make that mistake. I am going out of order just a little bit because I did remove the sink out of the laundry room before we actually put the doors back onto the cabinets. We did run into several problems with loosening the valves on the bottom to actually unhook all of the plumbing. But luckily I got a little help from a neighbor and we got it done. The sink was my favorite but worst part of this whole project. 
the best part is opening up this box and actually seeing my sink in person I did measure my sink beforehand and I had to order this particular sink off of Amazon it was not easy finding a utility sink that was deep enough to go and replace the sink that I already had but I took my time and I measured and I talked to different professionals and voila I have my sink here she's so pretty look at her now to fast forward again we are installing the sink and I'm not sure if you all can tell but I put caulk under the mounts of the sink so that it could stick and adhere and I will also be adjusting under the bottom of the sink with clips that part I did not show this sink was not easy to install at all it was very heavy and the plumbing was extremely extremely tough but if I had to do it all over again I learned so so much in this process This kitchen faucet was sold separate from the sink. I actually purchased this off of Amazon as well. I had to call in my team to go under the sink so that we could attach the faucet. And that was not that hard. Luckily, I was able to go into Amazon and they had a video to show exactly what to do. But we wanted to be sure that the little sprayer would retract and it would not just hang out. So luckily my co-worker was able to get the job done with a little aggravation of course but he got it done and I'm super super thankful for all of his help and the other one so now we are installing the peel and stick vinyl flooring before we actually peeled the paper off of the back so that it would stick to the floor we wanted to just get our little system together on how exactly they were going to stick and to make sure that everything fit comfortably i also went ahead and moved the washer and dryer back in i was able to do that by myself and thought it would be a good idea to really clean those floors once more and to sweep and mop and just let that dry before actually installing the floors. The time has come to install. The floors are dry and it was pretty easy to pull the paper off of the back. It is extremely sticky. I'm not sure if y'all noticed, but I made a little line there. Well, my son made a line there. And I knew I had like a guide on where exactly I was going to start the floors and to be sure that everything was even. Now, I will say that when installing these floors, you definitely want to be sure that you are lining everything up and try not to go too far ahead. Like, take a step back and look to be sure that everything is straight and centered because once you put it down in order to redo it you would have to take take most of them back up I thought that this part of the project was so simple it honestly took me about 30 minutes to install the whole floor I did not put the vinyl behind the washer and dryer uh, maybe at some point but I just did not want to go that far um, but in the end you will not be able to see at all where that was not installed so I'm very very happy about the flooring So here I am installing cabinet handles. I'm using a guide that is specifically made for installation of cabinet handles. I use a pencil and I make my marks and then I go in with a drill 
once I confirm that that is where that the marks go, be sure that you are confirming the size before you actually drill into your cabinets. I, on one of my cabinets, I actually made a mistake and I was a little cricket, but luckily I was able to go back through and fix it. Thank you.